So it is raining a lot out right now. So if you're wondering what that noise is, that's the rain hitting the metal roof, despite it having some insulation on it. It's a torrential downpour. So we're here today to actually install some Wi-Fi at this stadium that's under construction. It's not complete yet. So none of this is uh, ready or finished. And this is one phase in the project of getting this done. Now, first thing we're gonna have to do is figure out where the cabling goes and figuring out the chase as we refer to it. So we've already been here once and did a walkthrough to give them the proposal. Now comes the time when we have to actually do the work. So the first thing we're seeing here is right along this edge up here is where the cable chases are going to go. That sounds easy enough, except you gotta be careful what you stand on and this isn't our doing, but certainly someone's doing. This is crushed in already where someone kind of hopped over here. So you gotta be careful as to what you're standing on, what you're walking on. Be very aware of your surroundings before you just stick a ladder on. I think someone wasn't paying attention. And then, the wires kind of go through over to here. Now, there's a couple components to this. With the arena itself, we're gonna be using several Unify Wi-Fi devices and that will blanket this whole area with them. Uh, we're gonna do the Unify UAP ACHDs. Uh, they're the high density Unifies that are really good at, uh, one, dealing with a crowd of people, two, giving really good fast coverage. Um, so we're gonna have a few of them over here, and I'll show you kind of an overview map when this is done of how that comes together. But today's project, the, the part that we're gonna be getting done today, because this whole place is under construction right now, so as I walk through these next couple hallways, there's kind of a couple ceiling tiles, and once you get out here, there's none. Nothing. So now we're coming in here, and here's where we gotta mount the box. We got AT&T left some fiber lines. This is all dead. None of this is installed here. <laughs> Good news is we don't have to mess with any of the old phone system stuff. That's all on this wall. We're gonna mount, here's where the fiber comes in. Allegedly, they're gonna relate this fiber back up and we're gonna uh, mount our equipment here. And this is the mess we're kind of dealing with that we're gonna trim out some of this. That's the nice thing is when a lot of this is dead, we can, none of this really matters and we can easily work around it and uh, clean it up a little bit. But good, this is also kind of cool if you're in the old phone systems. These are not in use, but this is old click and relay phone systems. Uh, kind of novel to see all of it, but boy is it old and ugly. They're getting all digital systems, so none of this really matters. All right, now this is where I leave because it's time for Corey to get to work. <laughs> He's got the truck. Looks like a couple of the Unifies fell out of the shelf because Detroit roads are awful. Here's the, here's the UEP CHD he's going to be putting up today. I'm doing my part as the boss. I make sure that he has a truck full of stuff. But he's got the sign <laughs> and he's got the marching orders to know what to do. <laughs> And he's a little wet from these ladders. From yeah, the I took rain. a shower this morning and put the ladders on taking a shower. Yep, yep. So now he's uh, time to go install some Wi-Fi. We'll do a tour of the truck. This is better. This is the improved truck. It's not perfect yet, but this is the improved Cory truck. <laughs> it's coming. We promise. It's coming. We promise. And we'll do some wrap-up on this. Uh, once this whole project gets done, we're, it's a work in progress, as you've seen, with the ceiling tiles aren't in yet and everything else, so we can't even do a full video on it. And I have to go back to doing some of the other things I do. I have more bids to do and more things like that. Uh, so he's going to get to installing. When he's able to figure out how to just strap a camera to him and uh, people can watch the install videos more. But... I don't know. I'll, I'll wear a GoPro. <laughs> we'll put a GoPro on Kyle. I'll wear a GoPro. I'll wear a GoPro. <laughs> yeah, we just got to put it right on my head. I'll wear a helmet that straps on with it on there. Just, be, just yeah, maybe we'll put some GoPros on them to do these Wi-Fi installs. I've been talking about it because it's a lot of people ask you, know, why don't you do more of these install videos? One, I don't have time to do all of them, like to be here for the install. You guys are going to be here, what, five hours today, maybe? Probably five. Yeah, if we don't get that. It's going to take a little bit more than five hours, I think. On the other five, yeah, probably about five or six. Yeah, about five or six hours. And then there's a second job, the second time we have to come in after the uh, construction crew completes. Um, so this is like phase one, then there's phase two. And that's why I don't have time to be here at a lot of these jobs. We don't have a third hand, so we can't do tools and hold the camera. Yes, we got to get them. We'll get them a chest. Uh, one or I something. would wear one of those. All right. So yeah, he's got to buy. <laughs> the helmet and the GoPro. Oh, the, the GoPro. 
I'll just put <laughs> GoPro elements on them. Then we can actually talk more about the, the details of the jobs. I know people have been wanting to see some of those videos, and I don't always have time for them. All right, thanks. That's a, I know it's a short video, but this is kind of what, if you want to know what I do, um, I frequently get these guys in, get them started, get them rolling, uh, make sure they have everything they need to walk through, email the client saying, hey, uh, we're here on site, and you still didn't label where the drops are. So just little you know, project management things. And uh, then they, they have the marching orders what to get done now, and I have to go deal with the flooded streets of Detroit. It is absolutely crazy out there today. And uh, it took us, we, we were late getting here because the uh, road flooded. We had trouble getting here. Um, so, hey, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.